sine rule. So let's draw up. So we can use the sine rule to find sides and angles in non-right angle triangles. So let's draw up a generic non-right angle triangle. Let's call the angle up here, big A, the angle here, big B, and the angle here, big C. And we're going to call the sides opposite the angles just small letters of their big letters. So the side opposite A is going to be little a, the side opposite big B, little b, and the side opposite big C is going to be little c. Now we can use, now let's look at what the rule is to find an unknown side using the sine rule. That's going to be little a over sine a equals little b over sine b equals little c over sine big C. In most cases, we just use two pairs of these, we don't need all three, to find a side. To find an angle, we're actually going to use the same formula, we're just going to flip it all around. But it's going to be sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. And again, finding the angle, we'll just use two of them. Now, we're going to use the sine rule when we have two angles and two sides. And one of these is going to be unknown. Let's look at an example how we can do this. Let's try up a non-right angle triangle. Where that's 80 degrees, 75 degrees, this one is 7 meters, and this is the side we want to find x. Now since we're finding a side, we'll use the side version of the sine rule, where it's going to be a over sine a equals b over sine b. I'm just going to write two of them. I'll, let's make note of which sides are opposite the angles. So that one's opposite there, and that one's opposite there. And they're going to be the pairs we use in the sine rule. And this also satisfies the condition where we have two angles and two sides, and only one of them is unknown. So let's start with the side we don't know. X over sine of the angle opposite that one, which is 80, equals the other side, 7 over sine of the angle opposite that 7, which is 75. Here you can do a bit of algebra to solve for x. So we're going to multiply both sides by sine 80. The sine 80s will cancel out on that side, which leaves us with x equals, now you can think of sine 80 as sine 80 over 1, and multiply our numerators and denominators together. So 7 times sine 80 is 7 sine 80, and sine 75 times 1 is just sine 75. We can put that all in our calculator, and we're going to get 7.1 meters to one decimal place. Let's have a look at another example where we've got another non right angle triangle where that's 83 degrees. This one's theta, this one's 9 centimeters. And this side is 10 centimeters. So here we want to find an angle, so we're going to use the angle version of the sine rule, which is going to be sine A over A equals sine B over B. We're just going to use two. Let's make note of which ones are opposite each other. So that angle is opposite that side, and that angle is opposite that side, and it also satisfies our condition where we have two angles and two sides where one of them is unknown. So always start with the one you don't know. So sine theta is the one we want to find over the side opposite that, which is 9, equals sine of the other angle, 83, over the side opposite that one, which is 10. Again, we can do some algebra to try and solve for theta. So we're going to times both sides by 9, where the 9s are going to cancel out. So we'll just be left with sine theta. You can think of 9 over 1, 
So that makes it easier. Now multiply our numerators together. So we're going to get 9 times sine 83, which is just 9 sine 83, over 10 times 1, which is 10. Then to find theta, we're going to need to do the inverse sine of that whole right-hand side. So the inverse sine of 9 sine 83 over 10. All of that into the calculator is going to give us 63.3 degrees to one decimal place. Can look at one more example. We have another non-right angle triangle where we've got 40 degrees here, theta here, 6 meters and 4 meters. So since we're finding an angle, we're going to use our angle version of the formula, so sine A over A equals sine B over B. Which ones are opposite each other? Well, theta is opposite the 6 and 40 is opposite the 4. And it does satisfy our condition of having two angles and two sides with one of them unknown. So we'll start with the one we don't know. So sine theta is going to be opposite the side over the side opposite theta, which is 6. That's going to equal sine of the other angle, which is 40, over the side opposite that one, which is 4. Do a bit of algebra to solve for theta. So we're going to multiply both sides by 6. So the 6s will cancel out. So we have sine theta equals 6 sine 40 over 4. And then we'll inverse sine the right-hand side to solve for theta. So it's going to be the inverse sine of everything on the right-hand side, which is 6 sine 40 over 4. All that in the calculator gives us 74.6 degrees to one decimal place. Now, the reason I did this extra example is sometimes there's actually two answers. And to check if there's two answers, we actually need to take our answer and subtract it from 180. So let's do that. Let's go 180 minus 74.6 is going to give us 100 and 5.4 degrees, which is a possible answer. Is it possible? To check if it's possible, we need to see if it could fit into our triangle. So think about it. If theta was 105.4 degrees and this other angle is 40, we add them together. So doing that is going to be 105.4 plus 40, which is going to give us 145.4 degrees. And to know if it's possible, is there room for a third angle with this? And in this case, there is, because it hasn't, it's less than 180. So as long as this is less than 180, this answer of 104 degrees, 105.4 degrees is possible. So our final answer is theta can equal 74.6 degrees or 105.4 degrees. So we get two answers for that one.